Hello Pisces, getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what is going on for you, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Okay. The person you're dealing with will be the first card out, the person Pisces or situation. This might be a work relationship or work situation. All right. We have Six of Cups for this person. How they're feeling is the Ten of Coins. How they view you is the Strength card. Action advice need to know is the Two of Wands. And the outcome is the Hierophant. Under the deck is the Nine of Cups. Okay. So there could be a relationship coming in for some of you. Maybe this is a reconciliation. All right. So we have the Strength card again, the Six of Cups again, and the Three of Cups. So I definitely see a reconciliation for a lot of you ten of coins is under the deck all right what is the ten of coins this is how this person is feeling so they have the devil card the nine of coins and the king of swords this person may be I don't use word obsessed but they definitely may work a lot they may be really focused on their money their independence their long-term success and security and to the point of like that's super important to them now again it could be school or they run a business but there's something definitely that they seem to be very attached to. They could be a Capricorn, but I just feel like the overall energy is someone who likes nice things, likes to um, maybe also buy nice things, but just money looks like it's important. Could be family, family business also with Ten of Coins, Nine of Coins being there. They see you as the Strength card. So the Nine of Coins, the Eight of Wands, and the Two of Cups. Well, first of all, Actually, I mean, Hierophant is under the deck. So you have a lot of repeating cards here. First of all, this person sees you as very strong, which I think is a compliment. There is communication here. I believe it's coming towards you from this person. This person has a lot of love for you. They're coming towards you slowly and they have something they want to give you or talk about giving to you. There's an energy there. I felt it and then I, I can't articulate it. I don't feel it right now. So let me go to the two of wands because this is the need to know. There is a decision here you're going to have to make. You have the ace of wands, the hierophant, and the knight of cups. Yeah, this person is definitely coming in with an offer. An offer of reconciliation or an offer of making this work. Okay, and the outcome is hierophant. So it's showing me you guys are getting back together. The page of swords, the star card, and the two of wands. So someone is watching the other person or you guys are both watching, but okay, let me tell you kind of what I'm feeling also off this person. And let me see if I can, as I articulate, let me see if that's what I'm feeling. This person seems kind of strategic and not necessarily in a bad way. It may just be the way their mind works. It's like they have everything planned out. This person may not show or reveal a lot, but I think they're also trying to watch you for clues, the page of swords and the star. They may present an idea to you is what I'm getting in the form of just verbally, like how they want to get back together, or how they want to do this relationship or something like that. And then again, they're kind of like watching to see how you react. You might not be together when this person talks to you. This may be, you know, long distance for some of you. It feels like a very big, important decision. I do feel like this person really does like you though. You have a lot of nice energy, I feel, with this person. The hair fonts here twice, especially in their energy. This is what they're offering, the Ace of Wands. There's passion here, you have the Two of Cups. There's a lot of love. Let me put another card though in this King of Swords. King of Swords energy. Three of Coins, let me do a couple, Three of Wands, and the Moon energy. Under the deck is the sun. So I like to kind of see the overall energy a lot of times when I'm pulling cards because the moon can mean something hidden, something you don't see. What, what don't you see? Because this person wants to work on this with you. They want to work this out or they want to talk about this. But again, this might be because of their work. What is the moon? What don't we see? Temperance and the nine of cups. See, this is weird because I'm getting an energy under this re reading. Like there's this energy of something being really good here, really magical, like the two of you could be very happy together. If it, maybe it's you, maybe you are hesitant with the strength card. Maybe you are the one, you, you are thinking like, this is not going to work. This person is hiding something. This person isn't telling me everything they feel, but I think, no, they're really happy with the nine of cups. I think there is a lot of love with the two of cups, but more for the two of cups. The lovers came out. Wow. 
What is the Three of Cups in the past? That's your energy. This person has a lot of love for you. They may not show it. That might be what I'm picking up here too. That you need to make a decision with this person. This might, we do have the Three of Cups, but I do read that as, you know, uh, dating. It doesn't have to be third party. And obviously it can be reconciliation also. But, um, so, so I like it's up to you what you're going to choose. What is on the other side of the Two of Wands? The Ten of Wands. Okay, so there's a downside to this. King of Cups is under here. There is a downside. I do feel like when, once you say yes, it's like a whole new door opens. I don't know if that makes sense to you. It's kind of like the strength card. Like, I don't know if this person travels for work and you're not going to see them a lot or if you are maybe going to travel with them. It feels, it feels like there's a new door opening with this person. If you guys reconcile, it's a good door though. It's something you don't see coming that's good. And this person kind of feels like they shift gears if you say yes. This person's actually worrying about this. They're hoping that this is going to happen with you. Now, if this person is married to someone else, let me throw this out here also. If they are, for some of you, I don't necessarily see a divorce here. But... I actually don't see them being married actually that strong now that I'm looking at it, but that might resonate with some of you. But let me look really quick here because I do have the, the Emperor, the Ten of Swords with the Emperor energy. And this is the kind of energy I feel coming through. Very masculine, very strong, masks their emotions, not super verbal, not super, you know, um, they don't really like to open up. But they have the Five of Cups here with the, with the Five of Coins. So this person has gone through some changes lately. Maybe 2021 kicked them in the butt or something. I mean, it could have been, could be anything. Page of Cups with the Page of Wands communication. Nine of Wands with the Ten of Cups. I feel like this person also, maybe they, they want to get married now where they didn't want to before is also what I'm seeing. And that might be where you're like a red flag. You're thinking that this may not work out. But I feel like it will work out. I feel like, what is the Ten of Wands for this relationship? The Five of Wands, you feel like there's going to be a lot of arguing and the Queen of Swords. And what's on the other side of the Page of Swords? The Nine of Swords. Nine of Cups. This feels like a relationship that might not be super easy. And if there is another spouse, this person is still in the picture. Okay, this is what this shows me here. This can represent you being angry and fighting a lot, but I feel like this is somebody else. I feel like I'm picking up energy of somebody else. I feel like this person really wants to be with you, but there's something maybe hindering the relationship or holding the whole thing back. It could be a lot of different scenarios. It does not have to be a third person. It does not. It could be this person's work or this person's family or a health condition or, you know, an aging parent or something they have to take care of. There's something I feel like you might have to put up with in order to be with this person, Nine of Wands. But I feel like you will actually be very happy with this person. The Nine of Cups is here. It's like the hidden, what you don't see coming is that you will be, you'll have wishes fulfilled with this person. I do feel like this person loves you a lot, okay? I don't think that they're lying or they're hiding anything about that. And in fact, I think they will articulate better this time around. I see the Two of Cups and Lovers. So again, I know this person loves you. They want to be with you. They choose you. They're attracted to you. So there's a lot of, um, energy here and what you really don't see is that this person is really like hoping and wishing and praying that you will say yes to them that um, you will take them that you will go on this journey with them because look, look what's under the deck the fool this can mean this person may pay for a divorce six of coin for the with the tower can mean like starting the divorce process paying for a lawyer paying for the beginning so they could be free so it does appear like there's something hinging on this that if you say no, they're not, maybe they won't go ahead with this divorce or separation or whatever this is. If you say yes, they will. But you may know that there's someone else or something else that's going to hold, um, you think this is going to interfere. This is going to be a really negative thing in this relationship. And it may not be. It may go away is what I'm feeling here. I do feel like this is a third party situation for the majority of you. If not, it is a job. It is a very stressful or a job that really takes this person's time up and, and away from you. Um, let me pull one card from this deck just to see what they're saying about this relationship. 
So they, they're saying girl with a snake. So empath and narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used, enable and boundaries. This obviously could be talking about you with this person, but I do feel like there is a third person. I feel like the girl with the snake is this queen of swords energy. I feel like you're dealing with somebody else. This is someone, a third person in this um, reading. I'm going to extend this one, okay? I'm going to see what this person, so I'm going to see this person's overall energy, what they think and feel about you, uh, where this is headed, let's say in three months, and then I go out like a year and see where it's headed, and we'll, I'll pull cards on camera. If it's bad, it's bad. If it's good, we'll see it together. This, If this is a, a divorce or a person in here, it'll show up, so we'll see about this person, and if there's a wish fulfilled or something here, that it's showing there's going to be something coming in with temperance and nine of cups that you will be happy with this person. We'll see what that is also if they if they want to tell more about the nine of cups, okay? And I'll get some other love advice oracle cards. So really quickly, I'm going to pull one card from the Hidden Truth Oracle for you guys to see if there's something else or something they want to say. I left when I saw you with someone. Okay, so I don't know if the, you were the one to leave when you saw someone else in the picture or they left you or something along that line. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here. I'm going to put the link below. Have a really good week, you guys, and I'll talk to you soon.